The coldest lock in moments three by my boy Bucket Hat Splash. Coldest lock in moments part three. We three. Yo, Cap, I was finna make a part three like two months ago, but I couldn't think of moments. My Discord helped me out though. Shout I could have helped Discord. you, my boy. Mm -hmm. Little side note if you ever want a shout out in a video, come to my Discord, drop some video ideas in there. If the video idea is tough and I use it, I'ma shout you out. Yo, Cap, I do sometimes need video ideas. I so need, you know what I'm I need slide it. Slide in there. Yeah, anyway, how long he back sliding to for? The lock in moments though. Sometimes a lock in moment is so cold that it makes you want to lock into like a past lock in moment i talked about goku's lock in versus frieza when mm -hmm. i seen goku lock in and turn super Saiyan after krillin got boomed by frieza i was angry too i wanted to lock in too i wanted to boom that white racist lizard too me and every <laughs> single person who's ever watched that scene ever wanted to lock in as well and then we realize we ain't have power so like no nah, like, i do you know i do saying? anime lock-in moments make you want to lock in for real that being said we're gonna get into the first lock-in moment of this video the first lock-in moment is karapika's lock-in moment the versus Uvugi. now karapika along with gon kill you and leorio are people you don't want to mess with they Facts. all are equally mentally insane when they get mad well that's, except that's Gon's true. like od but yeah basically if karapika's your op not gonna lie you might be sheets Uvugi was karapika's op so so he might be sheets now yeah. karapika's backstory is kind of sad you know what i'm saying his whole clan got boomed by a group named the phantom troop hey that rhymed so because of that <laughs> naturally karapika hates the phantom troop the phantom troop's logo is a spider if you were a spider hoodie around bro you might just get blue if you, you might. talk about spiders around bro you might just get blue if bro even thinks about a spider when he's around you you might just get blue he if got you ptsd tell, karapika does not like spiders so after his whole clan got blicked and he was the lone survivor he made it his mission to get his get back on all the phantom troop members uvo Gein was a phantom troop member so when karapika saw uvo and all the phantom troop members in one place it was officially time for bro to lock in and get his get back look at uvo all calm and you see just relaxing <laughs> Bro gets kidnapped out the air by Karapika in front of all his homies. Karapika's not playing no games. Bro had Uvo in the getaway car. He was taking Bro away. Uvo was like, you know you can just kill me, right? Shut up, Goofy. I ain't ask you to talk. <laughs> that man Karapika was on BT the second he saw Uvo. Actually, he was locked in the second he saw the whole crew for real. The that nigga was locked in from the second he... I forgot when he locked in, but I'm pretty sure he was planning this for a long time. That man was locked in for a very long time. <laughs> moment bro's eyes looked like this he was locked in shortly after bro got kidnapped eventually uvo did get free i'm not explaining all that i'm not gonna lie but when bro got free and fully grasped what just happened he understandably wanted his get back on karapika mm -hmm. and you could tell bro was angry too the second bro got free he started yelling <laughs> relax anyway though later <laughs> on after he fully recovered he set out to find karapika and guess what he did in fact find karapika karapika was just standing there posted waiting for bro <laughs> You know how tough you gotta he be knew? to know someone is trying to get their get back on you, so you purposely wait in the place they can find you so y'all can throw hands. That's tough. <laughs> Uvo pulled up talking about some hey bro, where do you want to get cooked? Kadabika was like somewhere remote, somewhere where your screens won't bother anyone. <laughs> that man Kadabika got that mouth on him. Pause. So you know what I'm saying they found a little huh? calm place to box. This whole time, by the way, Kadabika has been locked in. He locked in way back, as I said. After a few more words were thrown, Kadabika basically called him a bastard. The fight has started. Uvo Rush Karapika, Karapika block that. Uvo Gein's fighting style, I'm not gonna lie, is mainly just throwing hands. He just mm -hmm. like Itadori for real. No cap, if Uvo Gein wasn't, you know, evil, him, Itadori, and Toto would probably be best friends. They'd be like the Migos of throwing hands. The That's Migos. The looking at the fight continued, and not gonna lie, Uvo Gein was getting worked. So got hit in the back, back shots, got hit in the jaw, got hit in the back of the neck. Damn. Karapika was like, not gonna lie, you are some ass. You're wasting my time. Uvo Gein did managed to break bro's arm though but then bro healed his own arm because he's tough wraps uvo gein in chains karapika always got something to do with chains i know what he was doing in the 1800s hey, hey. uvo gein tried to break out of the chains it was not working that low key this character do look kind of black i'm not gonna lie um <clears throat> Yeah, some of these anime people ain't ain't being these allegations bro this nigga do look kind of black and he's in chains and he's like a monster gorilla Hey, you know, I'm just connecting the dots. Tried to break out of the chains, it was not working. That big, brolic, broly looking man was not going nowhere. After beating Bro the goofy what? out of bro one last time, Kudapika was like, where are your other members? If you tell me, you'll live. 
like five minutes longer. Uvo Gein said, <laughs> shut your lame ass up, and then bro died. Uvo Gein went out like a G, I'm not gonna lie. He ain't snitch, he ain't rat, he did get packed though. Kodabi could actually brought a shovel to the fight because he buried bro right after that too. Buried him so right crazy, after. bro, I've only ever heard of something like that in Hunter Hunter, no other anime. What a W <laughs> locked in moment, he actually never stops locking in since he started. Until every Phantom Troop member is gone, he will never not be locked in. The man, next been locked in, in moment we're gonna cover is Sh Yo, Sh Shikamaru is one of the goats of Naruto. Like, one of the goats, no question. This motherfucker is cold. Next locked in moment we're gonna cover is Shikamaru locking in versus Hidon. Now, honestly, this is more of a get back moment than a lock in moment, but my lock in series is doing better, so I'm doing a lock in moment because he locked in too for real. Now, what Hidon did to Shikamaru would make any man or almost any man lock in against him. The same reason why Chozo locked in against Hidon <laughs> is the same reason why Shikamaru locked in against Hidon. Shikamaru had a sense. His mm -hmm. name was Asuma. The Asuma goat. was all tough and G. He done killed Asuma. No! Hidon's power is mad weird. Actually, it's kind of demonic. Basically, if bro gets your blood and draws a blood circle around him, he starts looking like this. And once bro starts looking like this, if he inflicts pain on himself, you feel that same pain too. So when bro stabs himself with a three-bladed scythe, Asuma felt that stab with a three-bladed scythe. I, I so didn't know that. As I aforementioned, he died. And Shikamaru saw him die too. So you already know bro was plotting revenge A couple days after or maybe the next day I don't even know Shikamaru caught Hidon and Kakazu outside Once he did his mini Sasuke arc started He instantly started applying pressure on bro Shikamaru has a shadow paralysis Due to his shadows were throwing knives at bro That was kinda tough He was throwing them with pristine accuracy Shit was kinda beautiful Then while bro was trying to dodge Shikamaru came behind a tree Threw a punch The punch did not land But Shikamaru connected his shadow with Hidon Hidon shadow on the tree. So now Shikamaru now had control of Hidon's body. Shikamaru's mm -hmm. last name is Nara. He took himself and Hidon all the way into the Nara clan forest to continue to throw hands. What that means? That's what they went for real? I didn't know some of this stuff. I just watched it. Like ever just watch something and just be like, damn, a lot is going on. I kind of know what's going on, but I don't. This is one of those moments where I was just like, oh, okay. Forest to continue to throw hands. What that means is that bro now has home court advantage. Whoa! He threw paper bombs around the forest and then bro's jutsu wore off Damn. after bro's jutsu wore off he done thought he was valid he was like oh yeah this is me he slashed at shikamaru cut him and took his blood got bricked up and changed colors and drew ah. a circle around him nigga definitely listens to cardi then bro <laughs> stabs himself and kills shikamaru or so he thought. Shikamaru was actually A-OK. -okay. That demonic Cardi listener inflicted zero pain on my guy Shikamaru. And the reason for that is because the blood he done got wasn't even Shikamaru's blood. Actually, he ain't even cut Shikamaru. Shikamaru aka Einstein what happened? Naruto devised the plan to get his partner's blood because he has a partner Kakazu. Fuck Kakazu. So when Shikamaru mm. got up, he cut bro in the neck, cut him with shadow paralysis jutsu again, stuck paper bombs on him, put a hole in the ground, then blew him up. Damn. Now he done was in the ground looking stupid and he's immortal so he was still alive. i'm about to say yeah a lot of people say he's still alive but how did he get the other person's blood his partner he don's partner blood how do you do that and blew him up damn now he done was in the ground looking stupid and he's immortal so he was still alive he done was in there like ah you'll pay for this my god will punish you joshin will do you so bad look man shut your ass up you're done my guy stop talking and by the way your god doesn't intimidate me in fact you don't have to worry about your god anymore i'm your god now <laughs> On I love dogs, it. He said that. I did not say that to sound funny. On dogs, he said that. On dogs, he said that. On dogs, he said that. Okay. On dogs, he said that. Okay. On dogs, he said that. Okay. And then bro threw a kunai and exploded the hole. He done was never to be seen again. Beautiful lock in pop moment. Up one day. though it was mainly a get back moment, he still locked in for real. And then bro said the hardest line in anime history. Magnificent moment. Ten out of ten. The next locked in moment he I'm said gonna that talk real? about is mob locking in versus a lame manic named Koyama. Now Koyama like this is one of the best mob psycho fights ever i love mob psycho once it bro it's like the first six episodes of mob psycho i'm just watching filler and then out of nowhere the anime just gets good out of nowhere and they start fighting and i'll be like oh shit this is fire yo mob was that nigga though i ain't gonna lie gonna talk about is mob locking them versus a lame manic named koyama now koyama like 26 this is not one piece i don't know why he's beefing with kids but hey i forgot why but koyama came out the sky dropped down on mob's brother 
grabbed his head, boomed them in the ground. That was so vicious. You're trying to capture the strongest And then after Sight that, bro people. was talking mad trash to a bunch of middle schoolers. And then, bro, started taking Mob's brother away. But Mob was not about to let that slide. So Koyama let a punch slide on his face. Yo, mm. no cap, I'm not gonna lie. That scar on Koyama's face is some ass. He needs like a Shank scar or a Luffy scar or a Zoro scar or a Garp scar or something like that. What is this? <laughs> Koyama had dreads that probably look tough, though. Anyway, though, my guy Mob was not giving up he charged that bro grabbed koyama slammed him in the ground so then koyama was like all right bro you're getting me tight oh started beating the absolute dog shit out this nigga mob no not my he was god getting cruised so bad damn now koyama was 100 percent on bt he was going to fight his brother too damn. that's where he made his mistake that middle school boy was locking in as you can see in bro's eyes, you could tell he knew he made a mistake. That boy Mob brought Koyama to the ground without even touching him. Goofy. Then Mob pulled him in because he had telekinesis. I gotta fight this again. I got me. Imagine I gotta watch this again. Fight, whole school watching, your crush watching, everybody watching. Matter of fact, the principal even watching. I don't know why bro was watching, but he's what? watching too. And then the person you're fighting just grabs you by the face. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta move celestial bodies after that. You gotta go to the moon. <laughs> damn, I'd be so damned if that happened to me. I'd never let that happen to me. Mob held on okay. to bro and Got flew up in it. the air. Looked at him. Bro looks mad flabbergasted. I'd be flabbergasted too. Then Mob flew all the way down to the ground and in an extreme cinematic and flawless animation fashion, that bastard Koyama got blitzed. After all of that, I'm not gonna lie, I thought Koyama was sheets. But he got back up, tried to sneak Mob. It kind of worked, but it kind of didn't. He kept trying to punch Mob. It was not working. So Mob was locked in for real. gas on him. I guess. But then even with sleeping gas, Mob got back up like a goat. Mm -hmm. So Koyama was like, alright bro, you got it. He took his brother and dipped. Did Mob's brother get kidnapped? Yes. Did Mob still lock in and blink, bro? Yes. Look, cold lock in moment. If Mob locked in at me like that, shivers would be sent down. Nah, I'd be my crying. Spine. I'm not I'd be crying. Lie. Mob Loki has the toughest lock in moments after Goku because he's the original. Now, you know what I'm saying? I loved it. You know, moment. I loved it. I'm not gonna lie. I was trying so hard. You just gotta bring up this goofy ass nigga, don't you? This stretchy ass nigga, huh? So hard to not include a One Piece moment in this video, but it couldn't be helped. I couldn't think of any other lock in moment, so I turned to One Piece, and One Piece got me. The final lock in moment is Usopp single handedly saving One Piece from ending. Now, I'm not gonna lie, he saved One Piece twice. The I, first time he was not Usopp locked this in, time. he just so happened to be a Juice World listener. The second time, though, yeah, that man was locked in. In the show, there was this little girl who's actually 22 who's huh? named Sugar. Now, Sugar can't turn people into toys by touching them so basically if she touches you you'll be buzz lightyear so you know what i'm saying if you ever wanted to be buzz lightyear go in one piece tap him with sugar plug a little weird but she chill however there's i don't one i don't want to do that problem, though. if she touches you and you turn into a toy every single person you've ever known ever forgets about you absolutely what? zero people on the planet will remember you exist except maybe sugar actually i don't even think sugar remembers either basically you're sheet just like you never existed not only that, that you're also forced to be a slave underground of a country and it's supposed to work and work and work and work and work and work until you die so yeah it gets what, pretty dark bro? To do that's horrible touch. wait so However, does, does that work against luffy too because he like rubber and shit. i'm just asking who doesn't it work against or touch you. however there are two ways you can no longer be oh, a toy okay. and be remembered by everyone again the first way is if she willingly undoes her power on you she's not undoing her power on you the second way is if she gets knocked unconscious she hasn't been knocked unconscious for the past 10 years Damn. however one day though that was about a change on a certain sunny day luffy Luffy and Law were near Sugar on a certain building. Sugar actually intends to turn Luffy into a toy, but Luffy does not know that. But you want to know who does know that? Usopp. Woo if Sugar touches Luffy, everyone forgets about Luffy. One Piece ends, the show is no more. It took just 24 hours for us to lose control of the show. I'll touch Today, this nigga Luffy and turn him into a toy. On one man to save us all. On God by this power. Save the soul society. And due to the, the circumstances soul society. and the possibilities that may occur, Usopp locked in. Now Usopp is a sniper. For this mission, he's using a big slingshot. Don't ask why, don't question the goat. But Usopp has to somehow shoot a shot that goes all the way across the country and hit Sugar trying to hit Luffy. Now Bro is posted up trying to shoot a shot through a tiny window that's mad high up. So then while Bro's doing that and also getting comms from Viola, this nigga who has never used hockey a day in his life locks in and starts using hockey observation hockey can now sense luffy law 
Paul and Sugar's presence so he knows where to shoot. It's kind of oh tough. Oh my goodness. It's kind of tough. probably so locked in. He can sense the ant crawling all the way on the wall right next to you. Check right now. I've never seen this weak ass nigga so tapped in in my life. When bro finally thinks Look, he here. has the shot down, he releases. And the shot is just soaring through the air. Is that a he cabbage? He actually put multiple boosters in that shot. He calculated the wind pressure with that shot. The spirit of Stephen Curry, Chris Kyle, Tiger Woods, and FaZe Rain all guided Usopp on this shot. His shot broke through the window and sailed towards Sugar. Now the shot wasn't meant to hit Sugar, but it was meant to scare Sugar and knock her unconscious. Now when the did, shot did came work? flying at Sugar, Usopp was looking like this, and it scared Sugar <laughs> because in the past, Usopp scared Sugar like this. So when Sugar <laughs> saw Usopp's face on that shot, she got scared and got PTSD, so she passed out and went unconscious. When she went unconscious, she could no longer turn Luffy into a toy, thus saving One Piece. And what in addition, everybody the heck? turned into a toy was coming back. They were being remembered. Damn. That man Usopp really is Batman. I applaud bro's locking moment. He really is tough sometimes, rarely. But one thing is for certain, and that certain thing is that he definitely locked in. He locked in so well, I almost I forgot gotta his get I feel like the reason Usopp has such good aim is because of his nose. If you really think about what it, Usopp's hell? nose is so long, he could really line his nose up with whatever he wants to shoot, and he'll probably hit it for real, and he does hit it for real. His nose is low-key just a natural optic scope. His nose, I, I'm just yapping. I'm about to say, this so thing yeah, about to keep going. Lock in moment versus Uvo Gein, Shikamar was lock in moment versus Hidon, Bob's lock in moment versus Koyama, and Usopp's masterclass snipe against Sugar are the lock in moments for this video.